Hello everyone, hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of City Series, which is kind of what's turned into the name of this series now. But today I'm going to be showing you how to build this skyscraper, which is a pretty cool design I came up with. Let's just hop right into it, I guess. Now before we start, I just want to say sorry for not uploading for a while, it's, I took a bit of a gap break in between episodes, but I should be back now. Plus, I've also got something quite big coming up. Alrighty, let's start off with the basic overview of the building. So, pretty much what it is, is just grey terracotta, which, I mean, it looks like brown, but it's actually grey. It's got some birch edgings, and it's got a lot of quartz around the edge, with lots of these indented windows. And now, this can be, you know, built however you like, a standalone building with all sides decorated, or you could merge it in with other buildings, and just build, like, one or two of the sides, however many you want. But, um, yeah, I haven't done the interior. Interior will come at a later tutorial. But this is mostly for exterior, so it's a bit of a short uh, showcase part of the episode, but let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so we start off here, and uh, we see like we've got the flat open area. I've extended the road out a bit, just so I have more room to build with. But what we're going to want to do to start off this tutorial is we're going to want to make the corner post, which composes of one stripped birch log with two quartz bricks either side. You then we're going to want to build out uh, this sort of part you're seeing here with the one one grey terracotta and then two smooth quartz blocks um, and then two grey terracotta and repeat that pattern to the other end. Um, you just watch on the screen here and try and copy it down for this one layer. Uh, and once you've done that, you're going to want to put on the edges of all those smooth quartz blocks. You want to put smooth quartz stairs facing upwards, so like upside down, I guess you would say. Um, and then, as you can see here, go on to build up to start building up the walls with the grey terracotta and build them up, I think, three high I'm doing here. Uh, just so, you, you know, that, that's, that's going to be the height of the windows. Each window is going to be three blocks high. But then, once you've done that, you're going to also want to build up the corner posts as well. Oh, that's not, that's not that. Uh, you're going to want to build up grass, okay, three high. The panes of the grass, build them up three high, but make sure the panes of the grass, the glass panes, are on the outside. They're on top of the stairs. Um, three high, just because uh, if they're on top of the stairs, then it just gives it a bit more depth, you know, makes the windows more re uh, more outstanding. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm just doing all the windows. Um, but yeah, you can sort of see a better view here. I will later on in this tutorial, I will do like a layer by layer view in case you like it's kind of hard to follow this part of the tutorial. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. But when, when, what you're going to want to do now is build up the corner posts. As you can see there, um, I built them up. And now, trap doors, and it's kind of complicated, but you want to put the trap doors on the side of the glass panes. Uh, I usually face them all upwards as well, just for my, you know, OCD, um, which I don't have. But, you know, uh, face them all upwards, you can see it here a bit better, but trap doors on the edge of the glass panes. And the glass panes should connect up with the trap doors once they're closed. Uh, but yeah, if you do that all the way around for every single window, then you should get this quite nice, like, frame sort of canopy uh not, not canopy can't remember what the word for the window is um but the one where, one where it pokes out but yeah it's, it's looking kind of cool i quite like this build that i did um <laughs> so hopefully you like it um if you do like it make sure to like the video and subscribe and all that jazz i think the word people use now are but anyway i'm just trying to kill time because it, uh, trapped all the very slow to place so sorry for hearing me drone on, but um, as you can see, I'm just built up the corner posts and the grey terracotta by two, uh, just just straight upwards to the same block, the same pattern, just straight upwards. Um, and then once we do that, we're gonna want to place the uh, uh, some smooth quartz uh, in between. Or ignore the stairs. Smooth quartz above the windows, not above the glass panes, but like above the, the above the glass panes, but one block backwards, so in line with the terracotta. If that makes sense, but on on the side of those grass paint uh, of those um smooth quartz blocks, you will want to place smooth quartz stairs as well, uh, and that sort of completes the windows. And then after that, I think I'm putting trap doors on now. So yeah, I just put trap doors on the uh, the edges of the stairs at the top. Uh, that just gives it you know it's sort of like a a roof look, e e even though like you wouldn't need it. But anyway, what you're gonna need now is just to fill in the rest of those gaps in the top layer with, of those um, concrete, the ter terracotta, sorry, grey terracotta. And now quartz, smooth quartz slabs across the top layer, just above the windows, like um, the top half slabs 
on the block above the stairs, uh, which is pretty cool. And now what we want to do is just build like a layer of stripped birch around the edge of uh, the block above the, the slabs, out by one as well. So it's like a, the, the furthest block out that so far in this build, I mean, apart from the trap doors. But yeah, and, and in the corners, just put some birch planks. Um, but now what I'm going to do is put another layer of quartz slabs uh, on top, but make sure to put in the corner posts as well when you do those quartz slabs. And those are one in from those are one in from the birch, so they're still in line with the other slabs below it, which should look pretty cool. And now I'm just going to do the final layer of terracotta, and because it's kind of weird, because that's actually just one layer, even though it looks like one layer in a tiny bit, because at the floor we don't have like the bottom of the layer. Anyway, here's the uh, the layer by layer view. Um, I am using world edit for this, so I uh, ignore when I kind of like accidentally uh, like put a one too high or something. But yeah, um, also replay mod kind of went a bit weird here. And it's going off track, but anyway, yeah. So you can see uh, layer by layer I'm currently on the window stage, and it's kind of hard to see like the changes in the stage. But um, yeah, they've got the top of the windows going there. And I mean, if you want to, you can pause it and just look closer. I know it's kind of hard to see. I, I'm not very good at tutorials. This is like the first time I've done like a tutorial in this style, I think. Um, I mean, I've done a couple like this before, but I haven't gone this well. Anyway, uh, you can see here, we've just got to the top of that layer. And now what I'm going to do is use um, use my world edit to just copy and paste the layers. Although, but what you would have to do is just do the entire thing repeatedly in survival. If you're doing it in survival or without replay mode, you just have to build it yourself all the way up to the top. But once I get to the top, um, instead of uh, I did I did the layer of slabs, and but this time I did them ab um, above the birch and out by one as well. And this and now I'm doing like a bit of a roof portion, which is uh, three layers of deep slate slab, e uh, deep slate tile slab, each one going up by half uh, half a block, aka one slab height. So it sort of gives it a sloped uh, roof kind of look. And there's three layers of that. And there's another layer of, quart of smooth quartz slabs on top of that. Which um, gives it quite a nice roof effect. Quite, um, quite Victorian, I think. Uh, but this, this entire building is quite sort of Victorian. It's like one of those, when you go into like, the middle of London or something, you just see all those buildings. And the butt sort of gives it a gold effect. Anyway, I'm getting off track, t track here. So um, now I just, what I did is just cover that with a uh, grey terracotta again I keep on calling it grey concrete it's grey terracotta and here i'm just doing some duct fans on the top of the roof uh, all you do is just place down four blocks and four rails on top of those and they should look into like kind of a fan kind of thing anyway i'm gonna put some iron bars around the edges sort of like a railing if anybody does get up there and i thought you know what this is a bit flat let's add a sort of mini building on the top on the top of the roof it's kind of hard to explain but they have these i think quite a lot in um New York, I think. I'm not sure. I've never been to New York, so I, I wouldn't know. Um, I certainly don't live there. But yeah, you can see here, don't do this because that was a mistake. I, I messed up this roof a bit. Um, just, just give it a second and you'll see the actual design. There you go. Oh, apparently not. Oh, yeah, I just did it smaller. Yeah, so um, as you can see, just the same as the bottom, the corner posts in, and then just the same pattern, but smaller, obviously, this time. Um, and yeah, you can get a closer look at the pattern right here if you need. Um, but yeah, you see the stairs on the side of the smooth quartz. And you can build up. The other side I built it up by four. It doesn't really matter. All you need is to build up the, the grey terracotta to reach the top. And there it goes in the glass. And I'm just going to keep on building it up, going around the edges. And remember to follow, like, it doesn't matter if you don't follow this tutorial, like, to the perfect point. Because, I mean... To be honest, some variation is probably a good thing. Because I'm not the perfect builder either. Nobody is. I mean, well, nobody I know is. Anyway, let's get back to the build. Um, yeah, so the, the corner posts are going in now. And now I'm just going to do a roof on top of it. Which is pretty much exactly the same to the one I've done for the roof. but Which is like currently stationed on, if that makes sense. Like when, 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 I'm not on the roof yet. But once I get to the roof... Uh, it's going to be identical to the one that is actually sitting on right now. Uh, just, you know, keep it in, in line with all the other stuff here. And one thing you can do is, um, if for all the layers, if you want to make the windows look like they go through to the inside with the um, border, what you can do is you can put trap doors on the inside of the windows. And I, I, it's kind of hard to explain here, but 
and you probably don't need to do it, it's more of a waste of wood, but if you're really desperate for like, you know, perfect sort of looks for your build, then you can put trapdoors in the inside of the window, and that takes a border through the window, looks like the glass is sort of connected to it. Anyway, we see here is just the roof going in place, which I talked about earlier, it's looking quite good, and this build did take me not very long to build actually, or build or design mostly because it's just repetitive and I built this in creative mode. Um, my my original design was very weird because it had like pillars and everything supporting it. But um, anyway, yeah. So I, I did at the start. You did see there was like bushes and stuff around the bottom, which um, isn't actually going to be in this tutorial. That's probably going to come in a later tutorial all about how to decorate the smaller parts of your city. Right now, what I'm seeing, what I'm showing you is how to put an entrance. I didn't show this in the actual tutorial because I just wanted to show you, you can put it in wherever you want. Um, and it's just a very basic design, just trying to keep it in, with, in line with all the other design features of the build so far. So just, you know, birch, strip birch, logs, and I mean, you can do this entrance however you want. This entrance wasn't the greatest. Um, I had to play around with it, as you'll see in a second. Yeah, destroy all that. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's uh, turned out pretty good, I'd say. Um, and so yeah, I'm just gonna build out the the entrance now. I did put some glass in the top, just like sort of extra windows. Sometimes they have glass at the top. I think it's sort of like a. I think that's more of a house thing though, but not uh, not a skyscraper thing. And uh, as I said before, no interior. That'll come in a later tutorial. And sorry you've had to hear me dr drone on for so long, but now what I'm doing is I'm actually just filling out. Because underneath all the windows, you're going to want to put stone bricks. I actually did um, an extra layer around the outside of the bottom layer, if that makes sense. You can see there. Just so it's like securely cemented in place, even though it's literally floating over a hill. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial done. Thank you for watching. Okay, thank you for watching. That's the entire tutorial pretty much done. And um, if you want more, if you have any problems with the tutorial or you have any queries about how to build it, let me know in the comments. I'll try and answer all of the comments that have any queries about this build. Or, you know, ask me any questions in general. I'll try and answer them. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And hopefully I should be getting a non-tutorial video out soon. But I kind of, I'm waiting for 1.18 because I've got an SMP hopefully planned for 1.18. So that should be fun. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.